Hello and welcome to Vinyasa Yoga. As always, please go at your pace, do what feels good in your body, honor your body wherever it is today. And we are going to get started in a standing position. So go ahead and find your stance at the top of your mat. Feet are roughly hip width distance. Palms face open next to your hips. Gently close your eyes. Crown the few higher to the sky. Shoulders relax onto your back body. Core is lightly engaged as you feel your tail lengthen down towards the earth. Feet root you down. Ground you. Open up, exhale. Inhale. Open up, exhale. One more inhale. Open mouth. Feel your lips. Breathe in and out through your nose. Begin to gently constrict the muscles in the back of your throat. To feel some texture as you listen to yourself breathe between your ears for ujjayi breath, ujjayi pranayama. Keep your eyes closed and let your chin fall in towards your chest. Rock your right ear over towards your right shoulder. Chin falls back in towards your chest and then bring your left ear right over to your left shoulder. Slowly begin to rock your head all the way back. Face turns up to the sky. You don't have to let your head fall all the way back here. You can stay sort of in this neutral but yet turned up position. And if you're comfortable, you can let your head hang all the way back. Inhale, lift your chin back into neutral. Blink your eyes open. Inhale, sweep your arms up high to the sky. Catch the left wrist. Exhale, reach up and over to the right. Stay here or step your left foot behind your right. Invite a little bit more length in your left side body. Bring your gaze underneath your left arm towards the sky. Feel your front body open. Inhale, find center. Exhale, clasp onto your right wrist. Reach it up and over to the left. Choose to stay or step your right foot behind your left in a little cross. As you find more length for your side body, turn your gaze underneath your right arm, open through your chest. Inhale, rise through center. Exhale, sweep your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, extend through your knuckles, through your elbows, lift your gaze up, and start to move your thumbs away from your lower back. You're welcome to stay, or you can lift up and out of your low back constantly. Light engagement at the glutes at the core as you let your upper body lean back. Inhale, lift up through center. Exhale, release the clasp. As you draw a line down the backs of your legs for a forward fold. Hang out in your forward fold. Head heavy towards the earth. Spine long. Space at your pelvis.
slow inhale, rolling up through your spine, stack your vertebral columns, shrug your shoulders up by your ears, and then relax your shoulders onto your back body. Inhale, arms sweep up. This time as you exhale, arms just tip over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, tip to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, arms behind you, interlace. Inhale, extend and lift. Stay on your exhale or find that back bend. Inhale. Exhale, trace the backs of your legs forward fold. Inhale, halfway right. Shoulders back. Exhale to fold. Three more times a little faster. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, rise all the way up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, thumbs into your heart space. Inhale, sweep your arms out and around, palms touch. Exhale, rain it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sink your hips, fingertips sweep your mat as you lift them up. Stay low in your low body for Utkatas and find your chair pose. Pulsing here, little pulses. We're building some heat today, friends. With, you, with your pulse, you want to pulse your hips back and you notice your knees will bend with it. Here for five, hold in four, three, two, one, hold. Beautiful. Stay here, inhale for a little bit more length. Exhale, right arm sweeps back, gaze over your right shoulder, hold. Hips stay squared forward as much as you can. Use the strength in your core to bring you into your twist. Inhale to your center. Exhale, sweep left. Let's move a little faster. Breath to movement. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Last round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, forward fold, get some relief for your legs, beautiful. Inhale, halfway right. Exhale, fold, palms to your mat. Walk yourself back into a high plank position. You always have the option to lower your knees to the mat for a half plank instead. Wrist underneath your shoulders, push the mat away from you. Pull in your core and lengthen your tail towards your heels. This is your plank. Heels should be over the balls of your feet, so you have the energy going straight down instead of at an angle. Take an inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga, lower all the way down onto your belly. Press your big toes into the mat. Pelvis roots you down. Inhale, float your upper body. Baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, find low cobra or a little higher. King Cobra, exhale, lower. One more, inhale. Find your version of Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. As you exhale, find Downward Facing Dog. Pedal out your feet. Find some length in the backs of your legs. Find stillness. Gaze at the top of your mat. Walk your feet towards your hands for forward fold. Inhale, halfway round. Exhale, fold. Sink your hips, bend your knees, palms sweep down and up for chair pose. And stand on up to the and mountain pose, beautiful. <laughs> A little faster. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, into chair. Inhale for length. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway round. Exhale, palms to your mat, step it back, higher half plank, move through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward, step the first float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Sink your hips, bend your knees, sweep your palms down and up as you inhale for chest. Exhale, palms together at your heart as you stand into mountain pose. One more time, inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, your way forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold, palms to your mat, step it back higher, half plank, move through chaturanga. 
Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step, jump, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Think you have to bend your knees, palms sweep down to lift you up as you inhale. Exhale, mouth and pose. Inhale, sweep your arms out around palms touch. Exhale, sink in the chair. One inhale for a little bit of length. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Right foot steps you back into a lunge position. Inhale, palms rise up, find your high lunge. Exhale, palms to your mat. Step back, higher half plank, find chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward in between your palms. Inhale, palms lift up, find high lunge. Exhale, hands lower down. Step your left foot forward to meet your right forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sink your hips back, palms sweep down and up for chair pose. Exhale, mountain. Let's move through it again. Inhale, palms rise up. Exhale, chair pose. Stay, inhale for length. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. This time, left foot will step you back. Option to stay in a lunge or come into warrior one. Inhale, palms tap above your head. Exhale, palms down. Step back, higher half plank. Move through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step your left foot forward. Option to stay in a lunge or find warrior one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale. Palms come down. Step forward, inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair post. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose, beautiful work. Inhale, palms sweep up high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold, right foot stays, left foot steps you back. Inhale, rise up, find your high lunge position. Think of length from shoulders, crown to fingertips. And then think of depth from that front leg. If you notice your heel is really sinking towards the back of your mat, push forward on the ball of your foot. You may notice your right knee starts to come over your right toes. Get a little shimmy forward. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen through your front knee. As you exhale, forward fold. An extended version of pyramid pose. Inhale for length. And when you're ready on your exhale, find depth. Gently bend into your right knee for some support and then float off your left toes. Listen to the sky for standing splits. Draw your knees in closer towards your knee. Start to lower left foot down. Let it meet behind your right. Little cross here, pinky toes are touching. Inhale, reverse one, dive, lift on up. Beautiful. Exhale, palms to your head space. Is quite a balance challenge. Use your core here. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift your left leg up high to the sky. Exhale, slowly plant it down into warrior two. Inhale, let your arms float up to find the full expression of your pose. Beautiful. Let's move. Inhale, arms up, lengthen your front knee. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more inhale, exhale, inhale, lengthen your front knee. As you exhale, reach forward with your right hand and then tick tock your arms to six and 12 for triangle pose. Depth is not so much the goal here, but that length here is your goal. Stay strong in your core, flex a little bit, and you may notice your shoulder lift to find that length from hip to crown.
begin to bend into your front knee, plant your right palms down on the earth, float your left toes off of the ground for half moon pose. Sweep your left hand down, point into your left toes, find standing foot once again. And then gently lower left toes down to meet your right. Inhale, halfway right. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, rise up, palm touch. Exhale, hands into your heart space. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway right. Exhale, fold. Left foot stays, right foot steps back. Inhale, rise up, find your high lunge, set yourself up here. Push forward with your back heel. Get depth in your front knee, rearrange as you need. That energy draws you in and up from your low belly, chest crawls, through your fingertips as you lengthen towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen through your front knee. Exhale, pull forward with your chest. Find a fold over your left leg and extended pyramid pose. Inhale, get a little bit more length here. And once you can't find any more length, that's when on the exhale, you find depth. So don't hold your breath, keep breathing. But after there's no more length to be found, that's when you go into your depth. Gentle bend in your front knee, then float off your right toes as your nose pulls in closer towards your left knee, standing foot. Start to lower right foot right behind your left, pinky toes almost touch. Inhale, halfway right. Exhale, fold. Beautiful, you're doing a great job. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, rise up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart space. This is definitely a balance challenge. You have your center of gravity really close in underneath you instead of spread apart when your feet are more hip distance, but you can do it. Your core is a big part of that balance, so use it here, activate it. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right toes up. Find your standing splits. Exhale, tap down, lift up, warrior two, beautiful. Set yourself up nice and strong here, right into movement. Inhale, lengthen, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, strong in your warrior two. Inhale, lengthen through your front knee. Exhale, reach forward and then take top arms at six and 12. Get length through both your side bodies and take up some space with your arms, with your wings. Bend into your front knee, left toes, left fingertips, rather plant down as you float off your right toes, half moon. And slowly, right palm comes down, spin into your standing split. And then gently lower, right toes meet your left. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, rise up, palms touch. 
Exhale, hands meet at your heart. Now speed that flow up a little bit. Inhale, arms circle out and around. Palm for touch overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway right. Exhale, fold, step your left foot back. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, extended pyramid pose. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, crisscross forward fold. Inhale, halfway right. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep your arms out and around. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway right. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left toes up, standing splits. Exhale, open into warrior two. Inhale, lengthen palms overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen your front knee. Exhale, reach forward, on reach into triangle pose. Stay, inhale. Exhale, move into half moon. Inhale, left palm down, scanning splits. Exhale, left toes lower to meet your right. Inhale, halfway right. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse, rise, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms sweep out around and up. Exhale, let it rain over you, forward fold. Inhale to right. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back. Inhale, lift up, high lunge. Exhale, lengthen, fold, pyramid pose. Inhale, lift your toes up, fine half splits. Exhale, crisscross your forward fold. Inhale, halfway right. Exhale, fold. Inhale, your reverse, your swan dive, use your core to rise up. Exhale, hands at heart. Inhale, sweep your arms. Exhale, your way forward fold. Inhale, halfway rest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your right toes up, standing splits. Exhale, tap down, lift up, warrior two. Inhale, arms overhead, lengthen your front knee. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, just your left knee lengthens. Exhale, triangle pose. Stay, inhale. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, right toe low to meet your left. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, rise up, palms will touch. Exhale, hands to your heart space. Beautiful. Inhale, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, palms to the earth. Step it back, higher half plank. Move through chaturanga. Inhale, up the cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg sweeps you high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your foot in between your hands on the floor. Spin onto the inner edge of your left foot. Right palm will plant down. Sweep your left arm to the sky. And then I want you to lengthen your right toes back in front of your left leg. Nice. This is a version of side plank. It's kind of intense. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Right knee lowers. Lift your left leg up for supported half plank. Bend into your top leg. Grab onto the top of your left foot with your left hand and then kick foot into palm. Your belly will open forward. You're making almost a circular shape. Slowly release, unwind. Toe plants down. Left palm comes down. Spin immediately into wild thing on the other side. Right foot is behind you. Left foot stays planted where it originally was. Slowly move through plank. Find your chaturanga. Inhale, up the cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step or walk through. Right palm stays. Inhale, spin your right heel down, your right arm to the sky. As you exhale, lengthen your right toes back towards, oh, your left toes, excuse me, back towards your right. Your foot will hover in front of your right shin. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your left knee down. Float your right toes. Bend into your top leg. Receive the top of your foot with your palm. Then kick the foot into hand. So the leg is moving backwards in space. And gently release. Right toes down, spin immediately into your wild thing on the other side. And then gently find your plank, move through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cold breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Open mouth. One more, inhale. Open mouth, sigh it out. Take a look at the top of your mat. Step jumper fold to the very top. Separate your knees wider than your hips. Heels and toes out. Bend generously into your knees as you come down into a yogi squat, little malasana squat. Right palm sweeps out to the right and plants firmly. Big inhale as you lift your left arm high to the sky. And then slowly find your openness on the other side. Gently release through center. Use your helpful palms. Sit down on your mat. Nice. From here, lie down, knees bent, soles of your feet flat to the earth, palms to rest next to your hips, and then press your palms, your triceps down, press into the earth with your feet for your glutes and hamstrings turn on, then lift your hips to the sky for bridge pose. Stay or crawl your shoulder blades together underneath you as you interlace your fingers. If you would like to come into wheel pose, you're welcome to progress. Otherwise, hold right here with me. Wheel pose, bridge pose, begin to unravel, unwind, come all the way down. Give your knees a gentle little shake side to side. Extend both legs out far in front of you. Arms up overhead, palms face up. Pull your belly in, almost like you're trying to get a tuck of the tail. Your entire back is almost flat on the mat. Really point your toes a lot here. Get active through your legs. Here we go. Roll on up into a seated position and all the way forward to a seated forward fold. Inhale, shoulders roll up over your hips. And as you exhale, bend into your knees, swing them off to the left side of your hips. As you maneuver your way down onto your mat, lying down on your belly. 
From here, arms reach out forward, toes are behind you. When you're ready, reach, 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 reach out, 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 and up through your toes, your fingers, eventually through your chest, maybe the tops of your thighs, lift off of the floor, holding for five, four, three, two, one, relax. You have the option to come into that pose again or bend your knees, receive the outer parts of your feet with your palms for bow pose. When you're ready, let's go. Three, two, one, lift or kick, whichever pose you would like to come into. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, release. Ah, bring your right cheek down to the mat. And fall on the floor. And bend your knees, slowly your feet up. Your hands show like your shins by either side. Toes come down. Press yourself up and back into a child's pose. Find gentle breath. Supportive breath. Breath that holds you in this space. Start to crawl your palms over to the right. Left hand stay as your forehead, your left shoulder close down and reach your right arm back and behind you to cradle your right heel. Slowly release, move through center, and then all the way over to the left. Right palm stays. Reach your left arm behind you, cradle your left heel with your left hand. Gently unwind back through center. Go ahead and push yourself up through tabletop, right into downward facing dog. 
Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, find half pigeon. Back toes uncurl, inhale, find some length. Exhale, fold, heavy in both sides of your hips. As you fold into yourself once again. Slowly press onto your palms, lift your chest, roll onto your right hip, left toes face up to the sky. Guide your right heel in towards your body a little bit more. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, left palm down to the inside of the left leg. Right arm reaches up overhead. So here we are again with that length. And then when there's no more length, you can move in for depth. This is a very common place to overstretch in the lower back. Move gently and slow. Go to the first point of where you feel that stretch and then no more. Imagine opening your chest high to the sky. And then sweep your right palm down, turn your chest to face your left foot just a little bit more and fold. Slowly roll on up to center, right palm comes to the mat behind your right hip. Inhale, left arm sweeps you high as your hips follow. And then slowly maneuver briefly through pigeon pose and back into downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Inhale, left leg reaches high. Exhale, find half pigeon on the other side. Inhale for length. Exhale to fold. Heavy in both sides of your hips. As you sink in, fall in.
Let me press into your palms. Lift your chest, spin on to your hips, your glutes, and your right toes. Spin up to the sky. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, right palm lowers. Lift your left arm up and over for length, length, length. And then as you're ready, find your depth. Make sure you keep your chest open to the sky. And gently lift back up, turn your chest slightly to face your right toes and then fold. Inhale, all the way up, left palm comes behind you. Inhale, sweep your right arm up, sweep your hips up. Exhale, actually, from your exhale, just sit back down. Swing your legs towards the front of your mat, and then lie back down. Very nice. Right knee pulls it into your right inner arm, and then guide your right knee over to the left. Find your supine twist. You can turn to the right. Slowly unwind back to center. Right leg long, left knee hugs in towards your left inner arm. Then gently supine twist. Find your way back to center. Lift both feet up high to the sky. You're welcome to stay right here and let the day drain away from you. Be with you the back at your center. 
or you can come into plow pose or shoulder standing. And from wherever you decided to go, but to make your way into Shavasana, your final resting pose. Gentle breath here. Generous breath, yet not forced. Full and natural. I will call you back when it is done. From this place of summer, find a slot in the in the room. Generous, open up, exhale. <sighs> One more slow fill. Open up. <sighs> Return an natural breath if you bring movement into your fingers and into your toes. Roll your ankle and roll your wrist. Feel your arms, your legs live and roll your head from side to side. And as you're ready, take your time as you make your way into a comfortable seat. Palms touch at your heart. Eyes closed, chin back in towards your chest in a gesture of gratitude. Thank you so much for choosing to join me tonight through the screen, showing up for your practice and your practice alone. The light and the teacher in me will always walk with and will always learn from. The light and the teacher in me. Namaste. Thank you for your energy in today's class. I hope you take whatever you got from your practice on that out into the world off of your mat.